prolific author James Patterson is now apologizing for comments he made about racism against white authors earlier this week posting on Facebook. I apologize for saying white male writers having trouble finding work as a form of racism. I absolutely do not believe that racism is practiced against white writers. Please know that I strongly support a diversity of voices being heard in literature and Hollywood everywhere. And this comes after days of criticism. Uh, Patterson, by the way, is white, if that's not clear, and 75 years old. He's sold nearly 450 <laughs> million books since 1976, from children's books and biographies to science fiction and fantasy, um, including these cross books uh, that star a black detective and psychologist. He was being interviewed by one of these when he made the comments saying, that older white writers have trouble finding work saying, what's that all about? Can you get a job? Yes. Is it harder? Yes. It's even harder for older writers. You don't meet many 52 year old white males, which could not be more untrue, literally all of this. Um, but anyway, JR, uh, it's good to see the apology if potentially under duress. Oh, this is the thing, man. Uh, first off, I'm not sure where he got the idea from in his head that this was the case. That white writers are being shunned and reverse racism is happening. I can't believe that we're going through all this. All people have to do is look. Like, I don't know, maybe he was just having some feelings. He had some assumptions. Sometimes people say things as fact and they are just, it's really their opinion. Uh, but in not knowing exactly what the situation is, which was fleshed out later, which I think led to this also apology, where are you coming from with this? What is it that he's seeing? Because the exact example he gave a 52 year old white man, I'm not sure why he said 52. You can go and maybe get some white guys that are around that age range. And I'm sure you'll see, I've seen it actually, people looking into this. Tons yeah. and tons of white writers that are being published, that are being accepted. They're on different people's rosters. You want rosters. the evidence? <laughs> there, there very much is, it turns out. So his publisher, Hatchet, found that 34% of contracts with new contributors went to authors or illustrators who are black, indigenous, or people of color. That is a small minority. Uh, compared with 29% in 2020, 22% in 2019. So the numbers are becoming a little bit more even, but they're not even. Within the company, about 65% of the workforce was white as well. 78% of employees in senior manager roles were white. So the publishing industry is still dominated by white people. And then let's see, uh, Penguin Random House, their contributors, authors, illustrators, and other creators, 75% were white, 5% Hispanic, 6% black, 7% Asian. And a lot of people have been commenting on this. Jason Pinter, the founder of Polis Books, an independent publisher, said that he had been in editorial meetings where books by black, indigenous, and other writers of color were turned down because, and he quotes, or they quoted, I guess, we already have one. Mm. That's a thing that happens. That's the experience of people who are not necessarily like. James Patterson, who haven't been writing for half a century, who haven't published 158 plus novels, who don't pull in $90 million a year in books that he writes. Although, to be fair, <laughs> he apparently uh, operates this, uh, like basically a factory where a ton of writers write books for him based on his outlines Jesus. and all that. It's hard to say to what extent he writes any of his books these days. I don't know. I don't read them and I don't particularly care. I'm certainly not going to start now. But anyway, just not the way to address this, especially for a guy who has been so benefited by the publishing industry. Just think about it really fast. My last thought here is uh, uh, when you're coming from a position of privilege, of course, things like equality will make it feel like oppression for you because you've always known the privileged life. You've been getting yeah. the benefits. Exactly, exactly. Ah, and I get fired up because you know I want to be published. I'm being rejected. <laughs> Come on, somebody publish me. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.